Chicho Rap. Hi, Chicho. DJ Register, how you doing? Okay. Quick stream today. Quick stream today. <laughs> Is it stuck? I think you have to reload, gang. Twitch disconnected. So it's just saying it just started up again. Okay, hopefully this isn't going to persist. If it persists, uh, what I might do is uh, reload, restart the computer. We're back. Stream down for Chicho. I know, I know. I just realized that it gave me a little warning. Um, you know what? I'm thinking maybe I should kill the stream and reload it, but maybe not. Maybe we just leave it alone. Should we just leave it alone and keep on going? Should we keep on going, gang? What do you say? Or should we restart the stream? Re I might have to reboot the computer and then restart OBS. What do you think? Salute, everybody. I hope you're having an amazing time with friends and family. Lots of food, lots of drinks. I'm back. I'm back, DJ Register. Awesome. Would you ever do a podcast with an interesting person? For sure. Of course. We might be in the clear. Okay. I am seeing you're seeing me. Me closing and coming back work. Okay. Awesome. Hopefully it won't kill us. And gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the support. Thank you for being here. Gang, for live streams, we don't have any visuals. We do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho C H Y C H O. And if you wanna this content in podcast format, you can Follow the work on SoundCloud, and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. Re sister, re sister, it's not register, re sister, bro, re sister, DJ re sister, damn, DJ re sister, thank you for the correction. And gang, if I'm pronoun mispronouncing your names, please correct me. I'm brutal with names. DJ re sister, nice, nice, and. These podcasts should be available when we don't have any visuals on Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading this video to both BitChute and YouTube because love you too. Love you too. And free Assange, free Assange, free Assange indeed. Uh, and we will be uploading this video to both BitChute and YouTube. And for those of you that want to support this work on bitch you on youtube you can follow you can like you can share you can comment you can turn on notifications guaranteed to get notifications on bit shoot not so much through youtube but you are if you are on youtube you want to support this work you can support this work by joining youtube membership and those of you who are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support appreciate it pope grimy and just as an intro of what we're going to do on this live stream because we got a little cut out so that part is not going to be part of this video that's going to be loaded up on BitChute and YouTube. Gang, we're doing a comic book haul. Okay. Earlier today, or an hour and a half to earlier today, we finished a honey jarring video. Right? I we jarred up 70 pounds of honey, that local unpasteurized honey that we bought again this year. Fantastic, fantastic. So we're gonna have a lot of honey to give away to people. And I got a comic book haul yesterday and I got a notice this morning that at the post office that there was a comic book haul waiting for me. So as soon as I got that notice, I knew we were going to do a comic book haul right after the honey stream. Okay. So we're doing a comic book haul. There's two packages here. One of them is modern age. Another one is basically golden age. And one of them is CGC graded. Which one do you guys want to start off first? Which one do you guys want to start off first? Let me take these guys down. Can just confirm you're real, Chicho. Batman, <laughs> no Batman in these comics. I got some stuff from uh, bakery. Eating it, eating, uh, eating it, thinking of awesome, awesome. DJ Re Sister, I will need to rewatch this. Okay, enjoy the pastries. Enjoy the pastries. Pope Grimy, learn about bee, bee poop in France today. <laughs> Indeed. And by the way, if you want to know what bee poop is all about, um, 
we found out i think scientists uh, i don't know when the article was released i came across it a few days ago uh, but basically one of the reasons that wasps attack uh, bee nests is because they love eating the larvae, the little baby bees their major protein source for them right they eat the honey and they eat the bees and they eat the little baby bees but what scientists have discovered is bees in i don't know is it just france I, i'm not sure 100 percent where the bee colonies were but what bees have discovered is if they poop in front of the bee hives then the wasps don't come in so that's a defense mechanism for the bees and they're considering that to be a tool so i believe this is the first instance of bees using tools or insects using tools right evolution is insane how's soundcloud going it's going slow but it's good to have the audios up there i always like all your posts to help a bit i love the audio from do you love the audio format awesome i'm gonna do a lot more audio on there by the way it's a chicho bot elder god the flying kiwi i've heard about that evolution truly is insane gang should we do modern age or should we do golden age oh, I don't know. <laughs> the names the names the names <laughs> <laughs> or should we should we do golden age so what are the options of comics today oh man no notifications how much have i missed a crack uh for some reason twitch notifications haven't gone out modern please okay we go with modern age first i just basically started crack i just basically started we had a little cutout oh crack uh pope grimy beat you to it we're going with modern age first the golden age is sweet the golden age i got great deals and the modern age i got pretty good deals on it too okay the modern age i got pretty good deal on it uh, especially on one of the one of the comics so let's go through the modern age okay let me cut this up let me cut this up Packaging isn't the best. No worries. All comics are welcome. All comics are welcome. Oh, the packaging is sketchy. Check this out. This guy just threw the comics into the bag without any any protection. Check it out. Just threw them in like this. That's it. Oh, sketchy. But this person was uh, was a little iffy to begin with because he didn't really grade the comics. He said everything's eight plus. I know it's better, but it's but it's I'm grading it as an eight plus. So I went okay. Let's see what this guy is about. Now let me tell you what this cost. Okay, this thing, this thing, is this this guy cost uh, the comics ended up costing. Let me put it, bring up the order. The comics ended up costing $37. The shipping was $19. And this is Canadian funds, right? So let's say around $40 US, right? So this thing costs around $40 US. Okay. And it, it, this, I have some of these comics, right? I have most of these comics. Uh, but there's a couple of comics that I didn't have. I don't know why anyone would put this in a in an envelope. Luckily, it's, it just came from Alberta, so there's no dings or anything on the envelope. So the comics didn't get trashed. But I don't think I'll be ordering from this guy again. <laughs> Send me a treacherous behavior. All the God says. <laughs> funny, funny let's see what we got 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 come on lucky this wasn't coming from anywhere else oh my god alberta is really close to us right 
but it still did take a while for it to get here. Come on. There we go. There's tape there. There's tape there. Tape here. Do you own any Cal Oh, indeed. Hannah, I've read all of Calvin and Hobbes. Everything he put out. Right? Everything he put out. Bill Water Waterson is amazing. I believe that's his name. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's check this out. Let's check this out. I can't stand people who send comics. Yeah, really, Pope. I don't know why they would do it. Like, it's... To me, it just baffles it. It's like sending China just in a loose box. It's like, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Crack. Yeah, shipping has been slow the last few weeks. I'm waiting on stuff. Um, some stuff is, yeah, indeed. Like, it's crazy. So, check this out. We're going to check out two of these things. <laughs> awesome. Two of these things for the grade, the two expensive ones. Okay, check this out. Now I don't have, uh, I don't have a handful of these, but uh, there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a total of nine comics. Eight of them are Valiants, and one of them is a Marvel first appearance. Okay. check this out here is bloodshot number five from the second series from acclaim take a look okay and i don't have this in my collection okay and let me tell you hold on let me tell you how much i ended up getting this for obviously you're involved with well, selling comics you should know that protect them it indeed like seriously it's a no-brainer like i don't get it this is um uh, Oh, did I close it? No, I didn't check this out. This is this came out in 1997, and it's a tribute to Nick Fury, Agents of uh, Agents of Shield, which is a Stran Stranko tribute, right? I just wanted to get the date and the name correctly, and it's a beautiful cover, right? I love this cover, and I believe I should have Agents of Shield number one. And he graded all of these at eight plus. Uh, so it is indeed. Okay, let me put this here. Here's Bloodshot number three. And I got this, I don't think I have this cover. And I got this because the cover is absolutely beautiful. Great homage cover. That's a great homage cover. Nice, a little Nick Fury not there uh, with that Bloodshot cover. Indeed, this cover I really like, right? I'm going to show you the Valiants first. I'm going to check one of them out. Here. I'm going to put these ones. Actually, we're going to check two of them out. I'm going to put this one here. Check it out. Check this one out too. Hold on. Let's do it like this. Here is... Actually, I should check these ones out too. Magnus Robot Fighter number one. Right. <laughs> I have this. But, man, I couldn't pass it up. I just want to see, just because I was getting the other comics from the guy, I just added some just to distribute the shipping costs, right? Let's see if the coupon is in here. I'm curious to see if the coupon is in here. Come on, baby, have the coupon. And the cover, oh, it's, it's way better than great than eight. There's no doubt, as long as the coupon's in there and the coupon is in there, very sweet right and you can get this on the cheap gang this is an important book right very important book as far as i'm concerned and a fantastic series fantastic series i have this this is the only valiant comic run from the original valiant comics that i have the full run of magnus robot fighter okay see so many books behind what are your top three? Oh man, I got a lot. I just, by the way, 
I just did a whole rearrange of my bookshelf. I put another row above the top row, uh, top row of uh, books that I have. So I converted these two to graphic novels and all of this from this side is graphic novels. And on this side is a lot of the books that I reference and important books that I have, right? Here's Magnus Robot Fighter number two. This cover I absolutely love. Love, love this cover. This cover blew me away for some reason. I just think it's absolutely fantastic. Right? Absolutely fantastic. We drum. Hello guys. I am I am MJ and I'm new to comics. I want to start reading, but don't know where to start. I only read Deadpool kills the Marvel unit. That's the only book you've read? Uh, it really depends on uh, if you love Deadpool, there's really there's so many amazing books out there. Uh, what's your what's your uh, what do you prefer? Weezrum. Here's Magnus Roller Fighter number two. Okay, just pull it out just to show you the cover. Right. I'm gonna check to see if the coupons in this. Indeed, indeed. And check out the coupons. Right. Awesome. Awesome. And you were supposed to send this coupon in, cut out this coupon to send it in for Magnus Robot Fighter number zero, right? Oh, the bat, the Batman who laughs for sure. I have that first appearance, by the way. Uh, if you want to check out the Batman who laughs, the batman run right now is uh, is pretty good they're introducing a new batman and there's something going to be happening with batman and detective comics that it looks like uh batman's going to be pulled out and there's going to be a new batman coming in for 12 issues here is magnus robot fighter number seven right and it has the third appearance of rye right is a flip book ah oh, enjoy it enjoy it one two three and there's a lot of amazing batman books out there nice i love the early for valiance really you can't mess with this let me show you the flip side of it here's rye number three <laughs> nice on the flip right I hope the coupons in this check it out right you flip it fs chicho do you believe in real heroes like captain america or stuff like that serve uh, somewhere in army uh execute execute no man free assange free assange free assange passion atlas if you think otherwise you you ain't too smart you, you ain't too smart yeah, and the coupons in there sweet sweet you must be you must be part of hillary clinton's gang right on awesome awesome unannounced chicho stream early christmas present awesome fantastic these are yeah these are way better than eight these are like nine nine point two fantastic some great covers of the man yeah crack i don't know if you ever got into you must have gotten into early valiance no trump's first round of pardon didn't include no it didn't check this one out i wish this was a first print solar man of the atom number 10 i got another copy second print see the glare there second print we're gonna read this book 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 I'm not gonna crack this open. We're gonna read it. This is part of our reading list, right? Nice, nice, nice. Here is Exo Man of War number two. Okay. <gasps> crack, you didn't get into the Valiance. Dude, you're in for a treat when you read them. Check out for uh, really, if you're gonna read them, check out 
solar manatee atom number one to ten the first valiant run uh, the new the 2012 runs are amazing as well but the first valiant run solar manatee atom number one to ten one of the most important uh, comic book runs ever one of the best comic book runs ever and this is the first appearance of eternal warrior do you know uh do you know what's the strongest version of batman uh elder god will know this what's the strongest version of batman elder god okay exo man of war number two right oh you timed them out okay elder god good enough check this out those those books everything i showed you there cost me anywhere between one uh, not one two to three dollars two to three dollars okay canadian so dollar fifty to 225 each right not a bad price not a bad price funky monkey chicho i bought i bought days of destruction days of revolt on your recommendation but haven't read it yet any other recent non-fiction comics uh to be uh there's one that uh, recent this 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 book was amazing okay uh this comic book is fantastic uh is this is this guy for real and un unbelievable andy kaufman so this is a graphic novel based on andy kaufman it's a biography it was, it was really good it came out last year a couple of years ago i've read this thing it's fantastic right there's another book that joe Sacco recently put out called uh play the land paying the land or playing the land and he went into uh canadian north and did a comic book based on the inuit um the indigenous population of canada and it's supposed to be really good i haven't got my hands on it yet Ch check this out these next two comics cost me 850 canadian each so that's around seven dollars canadian each rye number four <laughs> this cover and rye number three are sought after and they're amazing covers i love the rye series the first rye series is fantastic right the strongest batman you say p uh pep asriel really you think the strongest batman was asriel box brown is great i'm gonna check rye number four i want to see what great this in. this is in okay love andy kaufman yeah and box brown is amazing man considering how this guy sent the comics these things are beautiful a nine i would give this a nine at least right check out the cover without the plastic glare right. beautiful one two three chicho do you always speak this softly do i always speak the softly gang sort of i guess i don't consider me speaking softly i'm crazy excited <laughs> right awesome awesome beautiful look at this love rye love rye yeah my natural state i guess is this to asmr right and check this one out this is the only marvel book okay uh, this was a really good deal okay this was a crazy good deal 850 canadian seven dollars us 675 us when i talk comics to get a little wolverine origins number 10 first appearance of Dakin Wolverine's son cameo appearance number 11 is his full first full appearance and this is a first print right awesome I didn't have this okay I didn't have this uh, we jarred up Ricky we jarred up uh, 
70 pounds of honey. My natural state is very chill, Crack says. One of the reasons we love watching. My wife was commenting on how relaxed you sound nice. <laughs> We're going to check this one out. I want to see what kind of type of grape this is. Dakin is one of your favorites. Awesome. Let's check this out. What grade are we? What grade are we? I'm putting it under light just to check it out. And you can run your finger on the on the spine, right? A little tick here. Not bad, not bad. What grade would this be in? This is a pretty damn good grade. Let's check out the back. Yeah, this is at least uh, nine, right? Perfect. Like it, like it, like it. You're going to hunt down the third. No, I'm not going to. The third claw variant is going for insane amounts. <laughs> I was willing to pay 850 for this, right? A little higher. My bid was higher, actually. It just didn't go higher. So sweet. The third claw variant is this. There's a claw coming from here and goes straight down like that. Right? It fetches like insane price. Insane price. Right? I actually don't like Marvel doing those variant, hidden variants and stuff. I really don't like it. Right? I like, for me, I like the collection of oh nice and it's got the insert in there too check this out excellent excellent and here's the insert on that Ch -ch -ch. excellent excellent this was a great price this was a great price fantastic price this thing goes for a lot higher uh, <laughs> <does. laughs> nice so that's a good haul uh, very surprised these books came back they came uh, in such great shape let's put these here I have never seen a comic comic book store in the Netherlands bummer oh that's too bad that's too bad gang there is five books here one of them is graded okay so let's crack this open this is from a different seller we've bought from this person before and they ship things nicely and that's the thing like when i find sellers that do a fantastic job shipping books and their grading is legit and uh you know they bend out of their way to to make sure you're happy with your service and they ship the books nicely man i go back to them why not crack uh variants are a big part of the uh, crash in the 90s it's, it's disappointed to see them gaining so much steam again these past couple of, uh, indeed crack I'm not huge on them right for me the important thing is if you're gonna collect the run cr collect the main run right collect books that uh, by the way salute okay correct the collect the books that complete your run right I don't like the exclusivity of things I want I want the books to be accessible to everyone you ended up getting your hands on the book when it hit the shelves fantastic right that's equal opportunity <laughs> that's why I don't I, I hate the idea of the people that did the valiant uh, doing bad idea the uh, the company bad idea doing exclusives and you have to order from them directly and all this just like dude what the hell homemade drink homemade this is indeed this is pomegranate homemade pomegranate liqueur delicious and there's seeds in there too i don't know if you'll see them right gang free assange free assange free assange okay and as crack a uh, crack says collect what you like the only rule you need to remember and read your comic books nice. Nice. 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> That's what you want packaging. Okay, we're gonna look at the um, singles first, and then we'll look at the the CGC book, All right? So this is what we got. Let me put this here. Okay. Read. Absolutely read. So let me put the CGC here. Look at this. Nicely bubble wrap CGC book. Fantastic. Fantastic. Here's the singles. Nicely. Like this is packed up like this in a box with bubble and stuffing in there. The other guys sent the comics without even the boards on them. <laughs> right? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> weird weird let's crack this open we want to make sure we don't accidentally puncture any of the comics read re read and read absolutely words to live by indeed read your comics gang you can't read all of them like if you're a hardcore collector like i'm a hardcore collector right um i don't have the opportunity to read everything but read a lot <laughs> nice and he put them in another bag check this out v62p merry christmas chicho merry christmas to you as well uh, i stop in your stream from time to time hope all is well thank you very much doing well doing well enjoying a comic book haul oh you stop elder god you stopped reading in 2000 gotta get back into it well you read when we do the reading so that's cool i started watching this channel for economics and math but stayed for politics and comics nice check this out <laughs> nice okay i'm gonna show you this set first okay check this out uh, one of these is golden age Two of them are Silver Age, early Silver Age, 1955, right? Check this out. First Golden Age. I'm going to put tape on it. Flat Top number two from Maze Comics. Awesome. Let me tell you how much I ended up. Well, this set, actually, these three comics together, let me tell you what I ended up paying for these. Uh, I, sh I should tell you what here let me put this down and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange right this comic book haul that i just pulled out of the bag is five books okay the cost of the books i'm going to give it to you in canadian was 75 dollars canadian and the shipping was an extra 21 dollars canadian so total it ended up being 96 dollars canadian which is around 75 dollars us right total was around 75 dollars us including shipping and taxes and whatnot these three comics that i'm about to show you let me put this one here these three comics let me put tapes on them too because these two are open these three comics ended up costing 20 26 dollars canadian okay let me put this tape on it too he's got to open up and they're packed up in mylar too like seriously that's fantastic right now i can show you this stuff so what do we got what do we got flat top number two golden age 1952 i believe okay this is maze comics and it's sort of like an archie uh spin-off not spin-off sorry rip-off i don't want to say rip-off but sort of a copycat right elder guy yes chicho i had too many responsibilities my life was crazy but yeah I go through periods, but since doing these live streams and comic books and stuff, I, I've kept on reading. Flat top number two, fantastic. And these were graded. Uh, these were graded. 
these were graded what were the grades on these the grades on these were very good to very good fine okay very good to very good fine and i would agree with that grade so this seriously this was a great deal flat top number two and this character this is the character flat top and this is Maisie. oops this is Maisie over here right and this flat top ran i believe for 12 issues okay and this is issue number two. Oh man golden age are our comics i've never tapped into yet i'd love to get into pre-code horror books indeed but that's a scary thing to get into so expensive so expensive here is Maisie number 19 which is the girl you saw in the other one and there's flat top right there right doop, doop, doop. flat top in the back so flat top was a secondary character that kicked off of the Maisie comic right so Maisie number 19 no 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 it's not the Dick Tracy villain um, Pope grimy it's not the Dick Tracy villain it's sort of an Archie uh, type of comic books right and these are sought after these are sought after and Maisie number 23 23 and there's flat top in the background being chased by bees <laughs> Did flat top top flat top go after his date stevie he said he was going after his honey but i get uh i bet he gets stung ha 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 <laughs> actually pretty uh pretty good uh good comic book to bring in considering we just did a honey jarring stream such a beautiful clean style on those books yeah very happy to have these so 20 26 dollars canadian for three of these graded from very good to very good fine great deal very good deal very good deal okay very good deal what was flat top saying look at all the kisses on flat top here so why so blue stevie because every time Maisie goes out with flat top, I see red. Ha ha. He's got red lipstick all over him. Cool. Let me show you this other book. Oh my. Look at this one. This was uh, this was the most expensive. Okay. This. This one. Happy holidays. Kind of burby happy holidays and these this one was the most expensive this one ended up being 34 dollars canadian okay and it's graded at 2.5 i believe let me just check it that's what he graded yeah 2.5 right this is this is and how many issues was this ran for this ran for six issues i believe yeah six issues okay this is is historically extremely important Cheryl how are you doing Jackie Robinson number four golden age book Jackie Robinson the first black person to be accepted into the major leagues right african-american this is the Canadian variant and ended up costing $34 ca uh, Canadian. Okay. This was a really good deal. He had number one up for sale as well, but number one was, uh, it was really beat up and it went up. It went for way more than what I was willing to pay. Okay. I'm glad to have this in my collection. Very glad to have this in my collection. Should we crack it open just to see let's crack it open just to see i'm surprised they didn't put this one in mylar i'll put it in mylar once mylar becomes available again like mylar is you can't even find it in comic shops right now okay i'm gonna fold this up the tape i'll put it in a new bag Oh, 
awesome. Sport thrills galore starring the dashing Dodger. I don't know baseball very well. I don't. I don't know the history of it. It's just a, some of the major events that happened, right? Nice. It's nicely intact. Take a look. Let's see the back. Teddy Bear Records. Teddy Bear Records. This is better than the good. I would give this better than the good. Staples are nicely tacked. Did Jackie Robinson play football as well? I don't know this. Did he play football as well? Did he do what uh, uh, Jordan, Michael Jordan did? Did he go from basketball to uh, baseball and then Jackie Robinson go from baseball to football? I don't know. Very cool. Very happy to have this. We might have to give this a read at some point. We may have to give this a read at some point. Cool, cool, cool. Bo Jackson. Is that what he went uh, went as? Bo Jackson? Let's close this. Let me show you the CGC graded book. This was the cheapest one of all, right? Remember, we paid 34 for Jackie Robinson. We paid 26 for the three set. We paid... <laughs> this is CGC graded. CGC graded. And we paid 1550 Canadian. This was an amazing deal. Romance comic, Golden Age romance comic, Golden Age romance comic, Jack Kirby, Joe Simon art, plus a whole bunch of other ones. Young romance, number 34, and he has a $60 tag here, so maybe that he was selling this for $60. We ended up getting it for $15.50 Canadian. 1952 take a look take a look great deal look at the glare on that the thing the case right so uh pope uh, jackie robinson played uh, baseball and football very cool very cool crack nice that run is a big favorite of a lot of people out of god which one is that G.I. Joe, oh yeah, G.I. Joe. I never got into reading it back then when it was coming out. But I do have G.I. Joe 1 and 2. Take a look. So this is Joe Simon Jack Kirby artwork for the first story, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, very happy to have this. I love, as you know, I've been chasing, not chasing, but buying the Golden Age Romance comics as much as I could, right? Uh, so this is prize publications, by the way, and prize publications is sought after. Okay, photo cover, obviously. Uh, it says cover is detached, but graded at four. So not bad. There's no huge chunks missing from this at all. So that's fantastic. How many graded books do you have now? Uh, probably, I have less than 20, maybe like... 13 14 i don't i don't even think it's 15 now one of these days we'll do a cgc update how many or how many graded books i have it's not just cgc i have the 
um, the other one as well, CBCS. A Romance book by Jack, $15.50 Canadian. So like $12 US, graded, right? Great deal, great deal. And the other people that worked on this book are... Uh, the other people that worked on this book are Mort uh, Meskin, Bill Drott, uh, George Rosos, okay. And again, prize publications, which is sought after, very much sought after, right? Fantastic. Really, you, you can't beat it. I'm having cross-platform madness. I keep trying to smiley face people's comments. <laughs> and the case is in fantastic shape. Great shape. We'll be buying from the seller again. We'll be buying from the seller again. I have them on, on my radar. And uh, if I can get good deals, we get good deals. Awesome, gang. I hope you enjoyed I really wanted to do a comic book haul uh, today, and I'm glad we were able to do it. Gang, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope you're having a fantastic time with the family and friends. And if not in person, I hope you're staying in touch with them, appreciating what's going on, but not buying into the hype. All right, not buying into the... Uh, the control mechanisms that are being put into place but holding tight enjoying comic books enjoying food enjoying drink and being aware of what is taking place awesome haul thanks for sharing my pleasure that was great as always i'm glad i caught you even without the notifications yeah i, I guess twitch didn't send out the notifications oh well c'est la vie it's an intimate affair <laughs> Take care, Chicho, whatever. Indeed, funky monkey. Gang, if you're around tomorrow, we're going to play our 10 by 10 puzzle starting at 11.30 a.m. 10 by 10 puzzle. We haven't done it for a while. Let's shoot for 100 on Christmas Day. Sweet, 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 right? And then after that, we're going to do politics and economics on the weekend. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. And... As for our quick outro, I'm on Patreon. If you want to follow this work, if you want to support this work, for those of you who are supporting this work on Patreon, thank you for the support. We're live streaming on Twitch. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. Crack 10 by 10. Wow, that's been a while since one of those. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the discussions. And cheers, everyone. Indeed, Cheryl. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live or just before we go live on Parlor, LO Minds, VK Gap, and Twitter. And we do share additional content there. And we do have a Discord page. If you come to our Twitch channel anytime you want and type in social, You'll get all the links for everything, including our Discord page, where people are sharing a lot of information and participating in uncensored discussions. We do upload live streams, the audio, when we don't have any visuals to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. And those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And this video will be uploaded to both BitChute and youtube and if you're on those platforms you can subscribe follow share like comment turn on notifications you're guaranteed to get notifications on bit but not so much on youtube but if you are on youtube and if you want to support this work you can join youtube membership and there's a button right there and for those of you who are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang aside from that thank you for being here gang and uh 10 by 10 tomorrow if you can make it bye everyone i hope you have a fantastic fantastic day